Learning more about the signs and symptoms of psychosis and how one campaign is working to reduce the stigma around it. Here with more are Josina James from Step Learning Collaborative and Dr. Nicholas Pinkerton from Southern Connecticut State University. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Very important topic. Uh, Josina, I want to start with you. Let's first talk about Mind Map. That is the campaign that's bringing awareness to psychosis. Tell us about the campaign and how it works. Yes. So Mind Map is a public awareness campaign that promotes the early detection and treatment of psychosis, which is a term used to refer to a cluster of symptoms that may indicate the onset of schizophrenia or another related disorder. And these disorders tend to onset between the ages of 16 and 35. Across the state of Connecticut, we estimate that there are roughly 500 new cases of schizophrenia annually, and it's our goal at MindMap to connect every one of these individuals to care as quickly as possible. Now, the way it works is if someone, someone is concerned that they may be experiencing symptoms of psychosis, or you know someone who you think may be experiencing symptoms, you simply call our confidential referral line. You will speak with an early detection and assessment coordinator who will screen for symptoms of psychosis. And if the individual is eligible and interested in care, we will rapidly connect them to care at one of 20 clinical sites across the state that's connected with the mind map network. That is wonderful. And I know that you are starting to partner with a lot of uh, universities, Southern being one of them. Doctor, talk to us about that collaboration and why it is so meaningful. It is so meaningful. And, you know, I think a lot of it comes down to awareness and also access. Awareness, you know, so many of our students, so many of our community members really don't know all that much about schizophrenia or around psychosis. And it's such a critical issue and that early intervention is so meaningful. And so you know, we're very interested in this in part because actually college students are one of the key uh, age groups to have a first time episode of psychosis. And if you think about college students and all of the pressures that they have going on in their lives, uh, things like you know, academic pressures, social challenges, there's so many factors that can come into play with this. And so at Southern, we're deeply committed to creating a culture of care. And actually last month, we were able to have the folks from MindMap come to our campus and come to a community fair focused on well-being and talk to our students about some of the signs and symptoms of psychosis. It's a wonderful collaboration. And I do want to tell our viewers today, use this as an educational segment mm -hmm. as well, what are some of those signs and symptoms that they can look out for? Absolutely, there are a number, but some of the few uh, that I, I always make sure to pay attention to. Uh, if someone is hearing or seeing something that others are not, if they're uh, very fearful or paranoid, if they're grandiose or believing that maybe they have uh, powers that are superhuman, uh, if they're isolating themselves sort of suddenly or having disorganized thoughts or speech, these would all be reasons why, uh, again, an assessment and early intervention is really critical. Okay, very important to note. And Josina, before we go, uh, there is a number people can call. Uh, any other ways that people can learn more about you and what you do? Yes, so we do have a website, um, mymapct.org, and they also can find us at some of these community events uh, across the state of Connecticut, as well as our STEP Learning Collaborative website as well. Wonderful, lots of resources out there for people. Thank you for bringing awareness uh, to this. For our viewers today, we really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you guys would like to learn more, we'll also have all the details linked for you on our website, wtnh.com.